Well, hello there, everyone. This is Software Company. Build your own video game studio from the early days of video gaming to the future of the industry. Develop the games of your dreams, take care of your employees, and manage your business. Welcome, everybody. This is Software Company, developed and published by Inc. Dev Studios. We're going to be taking a look at the playtest. Uh, we got access to the playtest, so I'm very excited to see and look into it. <clears throat> yeah, so... Um, Kind of exciting stuff to, to, to see here. Like, build build your own early days of video game for the future of the industry. Like, that, that sounds right up my alley. I love it, right? This game does not have an exact release date yet. This is going to be released in 2022. If you would like to see this game come to the channel when it is fully released, please let me know down in the comment section below. Just say yes, say maybe, say no, say this is the greatest game of all time. I don't care what you say. Just let me know. Or if you don't like to comment, make sure to hit the like button. That leaves a sign silent comment anyways let's go ahead and just jump into this now one thing that actually caught my eye here about this game was definitely the uh <laughs> the art style the art style looks quite great and uh yeah i'm really excited to jump into it this will be just a let's look at so that you are aware we will be just taking a look out of it um not a series or anything as of right now everything that you do see in this game will and probably uh could be changed Maybe not everything, but <laughs> things will be changed uh, when the game is full. Oh my god, fully released. That guy scared the living crap out of me. So enter your name. All right, we will do that. Sounds good. You must have a first and last name. Are you sure? I guess that's my first and last name now. <laughs> studio setup. Name of your studio. Select your country. Uh, right, we have three options for our countries. <laughs> we have... The Dutch land, we have USA and we have China. Well, I guess, I guess we'll do that. Normal, easy, or difficulty, or hard, sorry. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it on normal. Studio's name. So if I were like publishing or developing video games, I would obviously be like King Forehead Industries. I can't go that far, too many characters. Uh, King Foreheads, sure. Right, player stats. This is interesting. Select your character. Let's see here. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, look at that. Go back to that guy. He was dancing very like. Oh, I like him. I do like him. Yeah, the art style in this game is actually pretty cool. I do dig it a lot. Oh, she's looking pretty spicy with the glasses. Um, no, let, let, let's 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 calm down here, Junior, and let's just pick a uh, a person, a male with a different Oh, I kinda like that. I do like that. I I you know, I'm 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 a sucker for this. Now, which way can we go? Can we go all tens if we wanted to? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, uh, can we just be the greatest of all time? All right, I guess we can be the greatest of all time. Strike one. That That's you, software company. Do not make it so that I can be the greatest of all time. Right. I don't know if that was just because it's a play test and they just want you to kind of feel out the game, look at the game and see all that, but uh, I'm sure that will be changed in the future. Anyways, hello and welcome to Software Company. The text is a little hard to read. I'm sorry, but I will read it for you as best as I can. I am Walter. I used to work here during... Okay, can't read that because it just goes too damn fast. In case you didn't already figure out by my by yourself, Software Company is a game where you make games. Will you stop going? Like, okay, this is already another issue here. Um, let me click when I'm done reading. I, I can't read on your time. Oh my god. Right. Um, a place to work. What are you looking at right now is your current office. It is small. It is a basic workplace for up to four employees and some basic commodities like a small kitchen. And workforce. The bigger your projects become later on, the more qualified workers you will need. But for now, it's just you. Yes, you heard that right. Just you. A smaller game can easily... Before we continue with the game development process, I want you to become familiar with the overall controls of the game. You don't want to get lost, do you? So let's move around, right? All right. Oh, dude, look at that. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, okay, so one thing I would have to say. Um, please, let me skip the dialogue in my own fashion, in my own time. What is going on up here? Another studio develops a new game? Like, calm down. How much money do we have? $20,000? Can we just, let's pause time. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need to pause time in order to read this stuff. I would have liked to known that at the beginning so I can kind of get the backstory here. But I guess that's all right. Okay, so alternatively, you can hold down the right button and drag the mouse. Okay, it's a little weird, I guess. I don't know. 
Uh, to move around the map, how about you give it a try? Wait a sec. Do I have to have, like, it going on to do that? I guess so. I have to have, like, time going. So if I have time pause, I can't do it very well. But if I have time unpause, I can do it just fine. Interesting. Right. Uh, you can rotate, I guess, with Q and E. That's a weird rotation. <laughs> okay. Scroll in and out. Like, that is a very strange rotation. All right. So, cool. Hang on. Let's pause this so we can read this. Cool, now that's out of the way, let's go through the game development process. Developing a new game is managed through your PC menu. Who would have thought, right? Just go ahead and click on the highlighted button on the bottom left of your screen to continue. All right, so open up our, wow, like I said, the UI is very, very small. Okay, so what do we need to click on? Um, probably develop a game, right? Overview and statistics, that's kind of interesting. Wow, there's a lot of, um, a lot of text here. Oh my God. There's a chat log? Wait, what? What does this say? Argument out of range, exception, index was out of range, must be in non-negative and less than the size of the collection parameter name and I that's a development console, yeah. Right. Uh hire staff, we can hire people. Uh create new project, contacts, um, search new staff, banking, advertising, and research in development with UGN. Gaming news and reviews. Okay, let's create a new project, I guess. Right, so we'll click this. This guy should be like, wow, look at this, so many programs. Well, nobody said it would be easy, but don't worry. I'm here to guide you through all of them. Okay. See, this is the problem with clicking and not being able to click through text because you can't go at your own pace. You go at the game's pace, right? There we go. Okay, so we've opened this. Right. Alrighty. So, well, some of these programs take up a lot of space. I'll just continue talking from here as long as you need the space on the screen. All right, we do. Can I press space to pause you can't even press space to pause right okay so enter the name of your first game this is gonna be cans you idiot that's gonna be our first one okay time out uh your game is somehow like your baby all right but instead of naming it when it is <laughs> i guess that's why we name it when it is born <laughs> why don't you give it a name right away. Think of a creative name of your game and out in and out it inside the highlighted box. If you can't come up with a good name or need some inspiration, click the dice icon. Oh, well, I should probably do that. Gods? Ghost? A Age of Black? Duty? The Fall of Mansion? A Party? A Doomsday from or a Doom of from Odyssey? Zero about Warrior? Life at Zone. These are kind of strange cause power from moon the dungeon we'll do that one i like that one the dungeon better than cans you're an idiot well maybe not um right the program will then give you some randomly created names you can do that with the right simply by okay simply press enter key when you are done and we'll continue all right so let's hit enter right we hit enter i guess go with time now enter okay i think we did it okay nice one now that we have so we have a name for the game, we need to set up some more details. Let's have a look at the new project setup box right here. It's like filling out my W2 or 1099, whatever it is. Uh, first thing we have to decide here is which genre our game will be. Normally, you can only choose one genre. I guess you don't really fill that out. You do that through your tax. Anyways, uh, which genre our game will be? Normally, you can only choose one genre in the early beginnings. But for the sake of this playtest, I have unlocked the second genre option already for you. Think of a good combination of two genres and pick one for each. Okay, so for the dungeon, our main genre, I would have to say, oh my god, did you see that? Look at all the possibilities of genres. This alone is absolutely incredible. Action, adventure, sports, role playing, jump and sh run, dude holy crap look at all of the genres <laughs> oh my god that is sick i dig that so for the dungeon i would like a role playing a rpg right role playing rpg slash simulation oh that would be kind of spicy now wouldn't it for the dungeon well that doesn't go very well let's do rpg adventure the theme will not be airplanes. Oh my god, look at all of this. Holy moly. Um The dungeon, I think, will be like, can I do <laughs> uh treasure? Um theme parks, that's actually really neat. Survival. The scroll mechanic for this is is terribly slow. 
I hate that because then I got to go like this, like this, like this. But uh, I just want to see Mafia the Dungeon. What Fantasy. Effing God. Thank God. Okay, fantasy. We'll do fantasy. Game size. Well, I would like to be a AAA, but I don't think that's possible, right? So why why give me the option? I don't think I could be a AAA game. Um, how about just an A game, I guess? Target audience? I would have to say it's for... Uh, T. T for teenagers. Development for PC. So PC would share a 54% market share. Rotari or Rotari. You know, the Atari, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, Saga, Saga, Saga. <laughs> Uh, the market share is basically in the PC realm, right? We're not into the high console area. Price? You can actually give it your own price? How much were games going for back then? So this, just so you know, this is like, I think, in the 80s, right? I can't see what it says right here. It's like the build numbers in the way. I think it says 1984. It did say it in the beginning of the game when things were popping up in the top left. Like... 15 bucks can i do 15 dollars please oh that is not 15 dollars. that is 1500 dollars. we'll do 15 dollars for our first a size role-playing adventure fantasy teenage pc market share game right okay um okay now let's see what we have here click here to continue yes let's click here to continue all right so good job keep in mind that some genres make a better combination than others if your genres combinations are bad it will affect the score um, it will affect the score of the game that we'll receive on later. Okay, very well. Very well. Implementation cost, my lord. Uh, now you will have to choose an overall theme for your game. Uh, usually themes have to be researched, but again, for the sake of the playtest, I already have them unlocked. Alright, so that's kind of cool. Try to think which theme would best fit your game. Right, we've already done that, right? Our theme was fantasy. So this is actually the thing I had a question on. So then the next decision you have to make is what game size should your game have? And software company game sizes are divided in the following categories. C, C+, B, B+, A, AA, and AAA. Where C is the smallest size and AAA is obviously the biggest size. Right? Okay. No, no, don't, don't yell at me there. The bigger the game size, the more resources and time your game needs to be completed. Since you don't have a huge budget, and you are on your own right now, just set the game size to C. Okay, well, F me. All right, let's go to... <laughs> oh, I see. Check this out, though. If it was at A, the recommended uh, price would be like $25 to $38. Okay, I understand. So C, $8 to $12. Honestly, I might have price gouged that a bit, so let's just do $10 for now. I see now. I understand. All righty. So next, choose the audience audience you want. Keep in mind that not all game genres are fit for each audience. Kids may prefer different types of games than adults. For an example, with some common sense, you should figure out in no time which game types fit for each audience. Oh, so it's like common sense. Don't insult me, game. Click here to continue. Okay, so after choosing your audience, it is time to select the system on which your game will be released. Different systems have different market shares. Those market shares change over time, and as new systems get released, others will be taken off the market, so always keep that in mind. Which, if you have ever played like any game dev tycoon game, that, that's typically what it is anyways, right? All right, come on. Um, last in the category is price setting. I don't think I really need to go over that. It's pretty, like... Yeah, self-explanatory there so next would be the engine selection since we didn't take care of of engine development yet we will just use a standard one for this game just keep in mind that adding engine features to your game will cost you a certain amount of money for each feature those costs will have to be paid up front so depending on your current cash you might not be able to select all your features you might like to add up-to-date features will increase the amount of copies sold for the game in some cases that means finding the right balance between development costs and potential revenue is a huge part of the development process of your game right so i mean we have one right the simple engine uh, implementation cost of eleven thousand dollars i'm familiar send me off so it looks like graphics you could do graphics text-based graphics 2d lines can i do that no that would be seven thousand so text-based graphics oh wait a sec that all changed hang on time out good job now let's look at the what expects us on the next page now simple 2 2d graphics would be perfect or it would like give us more i guess in the graphics physics simple physics or advanced simple physics 
that would give us a little bit of something. So like sound, simple mono or system speaker sound. Um, I guess simple mono. I can't even see what the hell this says right here. Simple AI or next level AI. $28,000. Stick with simple AI and let's go to the next menu here. Alrighty. Very, very well. Good to see. So this is going to be setup development focus. Right. I wish I would have seen what we've we've what we've could have done there in the in the text. I don't know what that exactly said. So this is the development here. We can kind of I guess focus our efforts on certain things: uh, sound, graphics, gameplay, content, and controls. Optimal graphics value uh, is everything here as far as optimum goes. We have no idea, right? We just have not I guess discovered that. Select game features, keyboard controls. That will add plus one month for the game feature to be implemented. So that adds to our time. The max months it looks like we have is nine months. So development for nine months. I don't think then we can add this. Maybe we can after the nine months. Let's go here. Let's go to five. I guess we want story event. Well, we want. Yeah, we want quests, story events, character leveling, customization in the characters. Uh, side quests would be perfect. Um, not much of like checkpoints, I think would be good. Maybe local save game files. I would like to have as well. Like we're looking at five months, seven months for game feature implementation. Like I don't exactly know what that means that well, I guess we're going to figure that out. Keyboard controls, uh, for a PC game. Yeah, we, we definitely need keyboard controls, cheat codes. No instrument controllers. No, no, no. Uh, Easter eggs. I mean, that 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 seems for our first game a little too much. We don't need Easter eggs. We have not developed a reputation for whatever reason. Gameplay, I would like to have uh, it to be up, I guess. And like, I mean, is it bad to say max me out, baby content? Like development focus. Yeah, because it would probably take take away from certain things, right? I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's kind of bump this down a little bit. And bump that down a little bit and then just bump that down a little bit and we'll go from there so five months plus eight months for game feature implement implementation or you know damn it implement implementation sorry so if you develop the game for five months that will build the game I'm assuming and then another eight months for the game to have all these features put in is that when I'm is that when I'm picking up here let's see let's just send it dude so me and the game designer stats programming 10 sound 10 graphics 10 design 10 uh, yeah please for me available do i just drag and drop okay drag and drop okay estimated progression after five months of development and by the way we are like the best of all time right so obviously it's going to be good for us so let's go ahead and start the development up okay so in development is the dungeon uh pc done on 11 11 1983 it's like any skyrim or elder scrolls game to ever come out it get released on 11 11. <laughs> i don't know Okay, um, how much money do we have? We have only $2,000 left because we spent $20,000 on the game itself. My God, another studio developed a new game. Good for you guys. Do I give a damn? I don't think so. Now, one thing I wish I could see would be the date and time here, but, you know, I guess that's okay. So, well done, buddy. Well done, buddy. Your game is being developed now. Let's hope it will be a big success. The icon in the top right corner shows you the progress of your development once it's done click on the view results for now my little tutorial ends here and i will leave you to explore the rest of the game on your own good luck and i'll see you in the rest of the game uh, not much of a tutorial i'll be honest with you <laughs> not much of a tutorial but you know if you feel like you did did something i guess you might have done something i don't know we have no contacts whatsoever we have no staff which we don't need um we can search for new staff and hire new staff, but let's be very here. I oh, we can call them now, add to contacts. Like this would make it faster, right? I assume. But for our first game, let's just keep it how it is, right? So our banking and finances. So we the upfront development cost for the dungeon was eighteen thousand dollars. We're really putting it all in uh, all in here, aren't we? Luckily, we don't have to pay any salaries, and we don't have to pay ourselves, which. Yeah, <laughs> so we don't have to worry about daily costs. Now, marketing, that is going to be probably a big deal. Games in development, the dungeon. So if we wanted to do this, we can have options and marketing options. I guess billboards, 5% 5, 5 interest, three months, $2,500. No, we can't even do any of that. There's going to be no marketing whatsoever for this game. It's kind of going to be like a hidden gem, maybe like a sleeper type game where like hopefully people like 
stumble upon it and they're like damn this is the best game i've ever played in my entire life hopefully i don't know welcome to ign or ugn however you want to say that now you can see that the little controller here is getting fuller and fuller <laughs> As time goes on, overview and statistics. This is something I'm actually kind of interested in. So the King Four Hits founded. Oh, it is night. So it's not even 1984. I think I might have said 89. It's actually in 1982. God damn, dude, that's so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh man, that is so cool. My reputation is only 20%. Average game score, nothing. We have just nothing, nothing, and nothing. Uh, currently hired employees, 32. Excuse me, hired programmers, 32. Uh, what you currently have no hired programs okay total of monthly wages uh, nothing current bank amount 32 okay i don't know what, what it, what's all happening there another studio finished a game the black of return got overall abysmal reviews i think they need to fix the ui in this game a little bit maybe unless it's maybe a my problem let's see here oh placeholder oh okay it might be a little too yeah this okay this isn't a my problem i thought it was a my problem but no it's not okay close this please play test that's the whole point of it play test right don't expect too much just kind of expect the game itself i do not want to keep seeing this though i no i no 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 close it thank you i just want this game to be done so uh, five months five months and then like what about the implemented like uh features like the keyboard and, and the ai and, and things like that is that all part of this or is that after the development phase a little still a little kind of confused on that fully okay um wait a sec does it actually show what day oh it does so we're actually in the next new year we're in 1983 i see okay so yeah we we do develop the game and then we are going to put like what was it eight months into adding the things or adding the different things into the game i see because we started this oh my god close that we started this game at november it's gonna take us five months to develop the game and then eight months that's almost like 13 you know 12 13 months it's gonna take us a full year to develop this game it makes sense it, it does i think it's starting to make sense a little bit po possibly probably i don't know but we're coming up to a, a crucial part in the development here I, I assume it's raining outside. I tell you, dude, the art style in this game, I'm impressed. Transform child out of bounds. Please don't ever tell me that again. <laughs> okay. So, okay. This is done, yeah? Okay, let's slow down time a little bit. So we click on subscriber. Hey, Flaming Wolf. Thank you for the subscription to the channel. Anyways, uh, so this is our development report for the dungeon, I guess, for right now. Uh, the graphics is 100%, sound is 100%, everything's 100%. Market performance predictions. Yo. Development costs $18,000. Estimated number of sales for our first game of all time is going to be 22,000 sales. And our estimated income revenue is going to be $238,000. That is absolutely insane. But then again, we are like the greatest of all time. Like the best developer ever. This is cool though. Check this out. If you check out leading staff, you can actually see who is the project lead. Well, me. Imagine having like a an office full of like employees, right? You can have a full on project lead, graphic design lead, a sound design lead, a leading pro that that to me is really cool. So we can send it to review possibly. So review ready on June 12th of 1983. Still wish I knew what the day was. I think that says I can't tell if that says March or not. I don't know. I really don't know. So now the game is going to be going into review. The re oh, whoa, 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 time out, time out. The reviews of the dungeons are ready. Click on the progress. Okay, so here's the reviews for our game. So the review results for the dungeon is a 66% overall. Overall, this game is okay-ish. You can have some fun for a while if you are not too picky and can overlook its obvious flaws. Graphics were good. And again, it kind of it shows who did what, right? Content, me, gameplay, sound, graphics, controls, all the above, right? Kind of, I'm digging that a lot. So we could sell the game, I guess. Uh, review ready? Um, right. Even though it did say, like, our project... Was it our projected release date was going to be 11-11? Like, November 11th? And then we just kind of beat it to it because we were so good? I don't know. But let's go ahead and sell the game, I guess. And let's see here. So we can select a publisher. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is cool, dude. 
We could self-publish, no provision. You have to pay for printing copies, which who knows how much that is. Um, I guess we can figure that out. So if we want to do 100 copies, that would cost us $440. This is sick. I love this feature. So it costs $4.40 to make one copy. We sell the game for $10, and I guess we take home, you know, six, well, $5 and some change with us, right? We don't have to split it between publishers. However, if we use Activision, which is basically what this is, Activisuals, or EA, or Electronic Darts, their provision, um, I, I assume, is they take 50%, but their market share is is big, right? So, um, and we don't have to worry about paying for um, uh, printing copies. Now, I think because it is a game that will be a 60% in the category, it's not going to... Uh, it's not going to sell a lot. I would rather walk away with as much potential profit as I can, if that makes any sense. So I have $2,000. If I print 450 copies, I can make quite a bit of money. I can make quite a bit of money and not have to do anything if I just self-publish it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make 450 copies of the game and I'm going to try to make as much profit for myself as, as much as possible. So bring game to the market, please. Let's try that again. Hey, you can't afford printing that many copies. Either lower the amount of, you didn't spell amount, right? Of copies to make or switch to a publisher. Oh, wait, I did that, right? Okay, wait, wait, wait. So I, I spent the 2000 already, so we only have 20 bucks left. Okay, now we just go forward with it, right? Now, it should be on the market. Another studio finished the game. Okay, no, no, no. The game should be on the market now, right? You didn't really get, like... They didn't really tell us <laughs> if the game was on the market or not. Um, it took my, my $2,000, right? So we self-published the game. Oh, it comes out on 612. I don't think it's 612 yet. No, I don't think it's 612 yet, I think is what it is here. Again, I can't freaking see with that thing in the way. Um, so we'll see here. What about research and development? This is kind of cool. This freaking thing keeps popping up. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. There's so much things that we can actually get into. So simple AI, all these good stuff. Oh my god, that's engine alone, gameplay, genres and themes, uh, develop a new engine. Oh, this is pretty sick, dude. This is pretty sick. I like this. I like this. It is like optimization's not there, right? And I'm assuming, I, again, I, I can't tell what the date is, so I don't know if we will, if it is. I don't think it is. I think we're in April, maybe? I think. I think. Now we're in May. Yeah, yeah. Now we're in May. So we have like one month until I guess the game is released. But the review is ready on 612. Which, hang on a sec. That doesn't make any sense because we just got the review. Are we in 1983 or are we in 1984? What is happening? <laughs> There's not a lot of direction going on here. Overall and statistics. Let's look into the overall statistics, statistics here. So... Our reputation is a 43, which actually has gone up, right? We were at a 20. And then our average game score is a 66 because we only had one game. So let's hear. Best rated game was the dungeon. Best selling game coming soon. So that tells you that we just have not, I guess, sold anything. Total number of games released is one. So games in development, no games in development. I want to say that we have that game on the market, except just nobody knows about it because we didn't publish it with a publisher. We published it by ourselves. And there's realistically no marketing for it. I think that's what's happening right now. Interesting. Well, if that's the case, can I, uh, can I like potentially take out a loan or not? Maybe loan features will come in the future. You know, I'm not sure. Again, a little lack of, of direction here in this playtest, but again, it is the playtest. Don't get too crazy on it. Now, what if I were to do this? What if I were to go and do e electric darts and bring that game to the market through electrics through EA? Can I do that or am I already closed off because I put it on self publishing? I have no idea. <laughs> UGN does UGN give us any reviews, game charts, anything at all? Does not look like it. 
Hmm. I have a feeling it had to do with this. Finish and release games. So the game is released, but we just have no money to do any marketing, and it is a self-published game. Oh my effing god. The cells have just came in. You see what I see? So I wish there was more to this, right? I wish there was more to this. I wish there was a, a something in telling me, oh, your game was released. Here's the sales. Because I don't know if you see it, but we have $70,000 all of a sudden. But there was no, like, there wasn't no notification saying, hey, your game did this or, you you know, your game did this well or whatnot. So over, look over here on the statistics now. Can we see what's going on here? A couple things. I mean, again, there's our money, $70,000. So we've made about $70,000. We, well, now $76,000. So we've turned... $20,000 into $76,000 as it is right now. And we can obviously do more to it. We can add, we can create new projects. We can do more, um, what is it? Uh, research, right? Yeah, research and development. We can make a new engine, things of that nature. Very cool stuff, right? Very, so if we wanted to do like, God damn, this thing is pissing me off. <laughs> oh my God. Um, will you stop popping up, please? Thank you. If we wanted to do uh, like advanced physics, it costs zero dollars in zero months, becomes available instantly. I think everything here becomes available instantly, and that is just the play test, I believe. If I wanted to do this, maybe I don't know. Or maybe we can't even do research in the game. You kind of just create and go and create and go, and that's the whole gist of it. But whatever it is, you can see that we have one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars now. It's a lot of money. Um, so. I don't know it, it, it definitely this game definitely has a very very cool concept to it yes there's a lot of like game developing type games out there but this game one has a very good art style has very good details to it a lot of good details to it love the references you know obviously and um i think it has some very good potential there's a lot of work that needs to happen to this game there's a lot a lot of work that needs to happen i would like to see better ui I would like to see uh, player player time based um, reading through the tutorial, you know, the scrolls. Let the player be in control of what is read and what is not, you know. Um, UI, I think like I already said UI needs to be bigger. There needs to be more of a direction on which way to go. Um, like or like at least celebrate the fact that we released a game. Celebrate that we sold this many copies give me a number over here off to the side that says boom sales this month sales this month you know some other game dev uh tycoon games have that right they have that sales per month or like even over here um this is a little spammy i probably would say but i don't mind it because it actually is kind of cool to read some of this um but like some notification saying your game did this well in this month or your game did terrible at launch whatever it is i think there's a lot of room obviously again and it is a play test very very early stages not an exact release date for this game but 2022 should be hopefully this year um the game will be released i don't know if it's going to be released fully if it's going to be early access I have no idea no information on that but optimization definitely needs to come through as you can see this guy is running at a solid nine frames per second anyways i think that's going to do it uh this game I'm kind of like, I'm kind of hyped up a little bit for it. Like, I'm a little excited for it. I will, I will admit, like, I had a good time for the little bit of time that we did spend here. I think it has a lot of potential. Just needs to iron out a little, few things. <laughs> Anyways, it's been a pleasure not being with you today. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. Anyways, thank you all. I will see you all in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always. Take care. Yeah.